Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Shiba Inu's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Wave's classic technical analysis and also indicators. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why, in my opinion, in Shib, we are actually starting to look very, very dangerous. Now, let's zoom in a bit more. Okay, so in the previous videos, we were saying that if we want to be bullish, we are going to argue that in here we're going to have a correction structure on the downside and not an impulsive movement. Our correction can be in the front forms, but I think the most likely possibility is going to be a W, X, Y in form of maybe a double zigzag followed by another zigzag or maybe a flat and a double zigzag doesn't really matter that much. The most important point is that in here we are going to have, according to the bullish scenario and again, just according to the bullish scenario, an A, B, C in form of a zigzag structure, which the subwaves for it should be like this. One, two, three, four, five wave down into A. Let's change the colors to white. There we go. Correction for wave B, maybe A, B, C, maybe W, X, Y. Doesn't really matter that much. And then we are going to have another five wave impulsive structure on the outside into our C leg. Let's go on the live chart and count some waves. So, this can be from here to about this point, as you can see, a very clear 5 wave down into our A leg. After it, we are having an ABC up into B, and from this side, we were saying we can consider different possibilities. In one scenario, there is actually a chance that the bottom is going to be in right in here, and we can identify, like for example, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure on the outside. This is definitely a possibility. But in another scenario, we can argue maybe this is going to be from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down into 1, correction for 2, and then huge move down into wave 3. And maybe, according to this scenario, the current move on the upside in SHIB, it's just going to be a correction structure into wave 4. And after it's over, we are going to have another move on the downside into wave 5. And the minimum target for it is going to be taking the lowest line here, which from the current point, that would be about, let's say, a 25% move on the downside. Now, how can we say whether the bearish or maybe the bullish scenario in like very short term is going to be in play? We talked about it in the previous videos. You see, from here to somewhere around the recent price action, we can consider different possibilities. In the previous video, I was saying if you want to be bullish, your best shot at finding an impulsive movement in this area is if you say we are having a series of 1 and 2s. Meaning, this is going to be 1, 2, and then let's put the end of our wave 3, 4, 5 in here, okay? And we can have another 1 and a 2, but on a lower degree relative to this 1 and 2 in here. And after our wave 2 is over, we are going to get big move up into wave 3, 4, 5 in order to complete the sub waves for this wave 3 right in here. And then correction for 4, another move on the upside into wave 5. This is going to be pretty much our only bullish scenario that we can have at the moment in Shiba Inu price chart. Now, we can also have in here a bearish scenario that suggests this move up is going to be a very classic A, B, C in form of a zigzag structure. And we are going to get a solid move down soon in SHIB in order to take the low slope in here for the first circuit. Now, this is a very important point. If we take this low right in here in SHIB, at that point, we are going to be actually and unfortunately bearish with quite a lot of confidence. Why is that? Because... If we take this low, how are we exactly going to be able to find in this area an impulsive structure on the upside? I'm going to tell you the answer. You just cannot find it. And it means this is going to be indeed an A, B, C, zigzag, a correction up off of the lowest low and not an impulsive movement. And again, this suggests our move down in sheep most likely is not over yet. So here's a question. Why are we looking at the moment very, very dangerous in sheep? Because as you can see, if I just hide everything, okay, in this move down, we got extremely, extremely close to taking the lowest low in this area. And right now, we are playing around this region, which is, again, very, very bad if you want to be bullish on Shiba Inu. So, what we need to do is actually just wait a bit more and see, are we going to get another more move on the outside in order to, at that point, take this low right in here. If we get it, we are going to be absolutely bearish. This doesn't mean that, for example, if we take this low, we are going to go from here, maybe a straight down. No, we can have something like this. You see, we can say 
maybe to somewhere around this low we are having like a one two and then three four five and followed by that we may have maybe an a b c flat structure or maybe a w x y doesn't really matter and then after this move up in like very short time is over we might get another move down so you see there is a chance that in sheep we might get a move down and in this move we might take this low which will be a very important bearish confirmation but then after it we're gonna have another move up and then we can get a solid move down in order to continue our downtrend but again taking this low one way or the other will be a very very strong bearish confirmation and it's actually pretty much the same situation if we remember on avalanche's price chart let's go actually on avax i think it was from binance you see i remember when i was somewhere around these areas i said look it seems like that we want to actually take this slope right in here and i'm going to argue that we are going to be now bearish however what happened in this move we went extremely extremely close to somewhere around this slope but we didn't take it and then after it we had a move on the upside now this doesn't mean that avax at the moment is 100 bullish absolutely 100 not i'm having something else in my mind i'm just trying to present the argument for sheep to just not be in a hurry okay let's wait a bit more and see are we going to take the lower knot and at that point we can actually be bearish and pessimistic with quite a bit of confidence now here's a question let's say well okay in the next couple of hours we are going to take this low and we said the first target is going to be taking the lowest line here which from the current point is going to be about a 25 percent move on downside but what is going to be the next important area you see in terms of classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances we are having a very important support area and it's actually right around this low in here but it's about i think it was like five percent lower there we go so you see if the bearish scenario is going to get confirmed in here i don't believe that if we are actually bullish in sheep we are going to go like far more lower than this point right in here now if we are bullish we are going to get a move down to somewhere around this region and then after that hopefully we are going to get a very very strong bounce back in order for us to be very very optimistic on the other hand if we get a move down and in that move we reach to about this support and then we go under it pull back and in continuation of the move down meaning we actually break this support well okay at that point i'm going to argue chances are that the next target in sheep overall is going to be setting new lows and taking the low slow all the way down here which would be from this support right in here about let's say a 60 percent move on the outside but since we're not there yet maybe we shouldn't be really talking about it that much for now let's just focus on this low and see are we going to actually take it or not now in terms of indicators what is going on let's zoom in a bit more on weekly time frame there we go so we talked about this issue in the previous video also we said in terms of candlestick patterns i don't know if you like them but if you do this is a very very classic bearish engulfing pattern between these two candles right in here which is again definitely a bearish sign that suggests in sheep we are going to have some solid moves on the downside soon and in stock RSI, we are having a buy signal i guess it can be a bullish sign but we shouldn't really be paying a lot of attention to it that much why because in macd we are having a sell signal and we're not seeing at least at the moment any signs of a slowing down so in weekly chart overall we are seeing more bearish than bullish signs and in daily time frame unfortunately we are starting to look quite bearish because now we are having a confirmed sell signal in stock rsi and it seems like that we want to get a sell signal in macd as well now this signal is not confirmed yet we need to wait until the current candle in daily time frame closes in other words until the end of the day and at that point if we still have this thing it would be a very very bad sign but again the ultimate bearish confirmation in sheep in my opinion is going to be taking this low right in here and since we are hanging around this area a bit too much i'm telling you we are starting to look very very dangerous so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in shiba in your price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more 
Maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets. And I am actually putting out the second part of our technical analysis course today. And if you want to have access to these videos, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.